The Focus ST has some history to battle with. The earlier Focus RS was an aggressive Techno Prisoners machine. It took Ford so long to get it right, most people got fed up waiting. Now the next generation sporting Focus is here. It may get the less prestigious ST badge, but it's more powerful than the old RS. So let's take it out on the road. We'll deal with the all-important chassis first. The Focus ST grips and grips and grips. Push it hard in a long third gear corner and there's plenty of excitement, but no drama. Even if you make mistakes like snapping the throttle shut. The weight hurtles everything forward as the tail unloads, but a quick sniff of opposite lock and everything is back under control. The Focus chassis has been one of the best, but here it has to cope with 225 brake horsepower. Thankfully, things have moved on since the RS with its manic torque steer and writhing steering wheel. Compared with the older Ford and the equally nutty Astra VXR, the ST is a pussycat. Travelling fast in this Ford is easy, and with the speed wound up, the Focus can't help but seduce. It turns into corners just like a racer. Beautifully balanced, the ST can be driven with real finesse at high speeds, with the driver dialed directly into the action. The powerful brakes can feel a bit soft when used hard, though they do the business when they have to. There's a weird sensation through the brake pedal in the corners too, but it's merely the stability control system doing its job, bringing everything back into shape. 18-inch wheels often hammer a car's ride, but not here. Thanks to Ford's fanatical levels of suspension tuning, the Focus again beats all comers. It's taut but not harsh, a fine compromise for town and the open road. So what about this performance? Well, it's not a regular Ford engine, but a reworked Volvo unit. The 2.5-litre turbocharged five-cylinder lump kept on the boil by a six-speed gearbox can't fail to do the business. Nought to 60 miles an hour comes up in 6.5 seconds, the maximum speed topping out at 150 miles per hour. Ford's only problem with the Volvo engine was that it was too refined. Who wants a subdued hot hatchback? So extra sound has been engineered in to give an enticing underbonnet burble and a rasping exhaust. With its bulging five-cylinder torque curve, performance is effortless and accessible. Inside the ST is a pair of massive Recaro seats. They're set slightly too high, but they certainly clamp you firmly into place. Get the legroom right first, and then play with the steering. It's not only adjustable for reach and rake, but also for weight. And there is, joy of joys, a full complement of dials. Oil temperature, oil pressure and turbo boost set into the dash top. As capable a performance car as it is, the Focus ST also has family car practicality. There is room for four, even five with a decent boot. You can even buy a five-door version, and you aren't compelled to buy one in this lurid orange. If you enjoy your driving, the Focus ST will surely appeal. Ford has a history of building iconic, fast family cars. This Focus holds its head high up amongst the best. In terms of the good points, there's a terrific well-balanced chassis, there's deeply effective five-cylinder performance and everyday friendliness. On the downside, the brakes can feel a bit soft, the seats are set too high and it's not as cheap as it first appears.